Hello and welcome to this week's Circle Time with me, Miss Rebecca, for Wonderful Days. Let's begin. Fire bright, burning bright, share with us your golden light. <clears throat> We are truthful and helpful and loving in trust. For our hearts in the sun glows brightly in us. We will open our hearts to the sunbeams so bright and we'll fill all of the world with our hearts in the light. Welcome to a new week. Let's welcome this beautiful day, come rain or shine, with our good mornings. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear stone. And the flowers that grow. Good morning, dear bees. And the birds in the tree. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning. Well, it is still spring, but summer is fast approaching. It's just about three weeks away now. Today we have a story all about the sun's sisters. Let's begin. There was once a little prince, and he had a friend named Lars. And one morning, the prince and Lars were shooting arrows to see who could hit the sun. One arrow fell straight on the ground, and that was the prince's. And the other went on and on and on. It must have hit the sun, for it went out of sight and came back at last with a bright gold hen's feather stuck on the very end. Found a feather, found a feather, found a feather on the ground. Oh, I am so very lucky, a feather to have found. Picked it up, picked it up, picked it up, just like that. Picked up that golden feather, then I put it in my hat. At this moment, the king came into the garden and he saw this golden feather. He said to Lars, you must go at once and find the hen from who this feather came from. And once you find that hen, you must bring it to me. Well, for many days, Lars traveled, looking in all the poultry yards, but he could not find a golden hen. And one day he was so tired that he fell asleep under a giant oak tree. And when he awoke, he looked up and there he saw an old red fox looking at him. Where are you going? asked the red fox. Oh, I am looking for the golden hen who lost his feather. And I don't know which way to go. I have searched everywhere. The fox smelled the feather and then said in a whisper, Oh, I know every poultry yard in the whole world. The golden hen belongs to the sun's sisters. Come with me, I'll show you the way. The little red fox, red fox, red fox, the little red fox came creeping. The little red fox came a creeping through the rocks and the tips of his queue is peeping. The little red fox is away, there sly in the misty moonlight creeping. 
with a morsel to his taste, he hurries in a haste while the farmyard soundly sleeping. So Lars and the fox went on for days and days and days. They went up steep mountains and down steep mountains, over big hills and through beautiful meadows until at last they saw the biggest mountain and they started to climb. Finally, when they came to the top, there was the palace of the sun. It glittered and shone from top to bottom. You must go straight into the poultry yard to get the hen. Don't go anywhere else, warned the fox. And so Lars went into the palace. He went through the gate very quietly, looking straight ahead. And he nearly got to the poultry yard when he happened to see an open window. He forgot everything the fox told him and he went to peep inside. And there laying on the bed was a beautiful princess. Her golden hair covered the pillow and her cheeks were rosy and red. It was the Princess Sunshine. Lars did not want to wake her though, so he tiptoed very quietly away. There was a crowd of ducks and geese, turkeys and cocks, and one little golden hen. But the minute they saw Lars, they all set up such a noise that it awoke the princess. What do you want, boy? The princess called out to Lars. Well, oh, oh, I was just trying to catch the golden hen, he said. Oh, you mustn't do that. That would be stealing, said the princess. But when she saw how sorrowful Lars looked, she said, if you can bring me my sister, sunset, before the end of day, I will give you my golden hen. She was taken away by some cheeky trolls. And so Lars went back to the fox and told him everything that had happened. Well, I did tell you not to go anywhere else and you looked in the window and woke the princess. Okay, we must find these trolls. Do not worry, they are the kind sort of trolls, but they love to dance. And if you go to their party, they do not want you to leave, but stay and dance all night and then the next night and then the next night. But Sister Sunset must come home and end the day. And so off they went to the castle where the trolls lived. The castle on the hill is old and strong, old and strong, old and strong. The castle on the hill is old and strong for the king and queen. The castle on the hill has tall turrets, tall turrets, tall turrets. The castle on the hill has tall turrets, for the king and queen. The castle on the hills within a moat, in a moat, in a moat. The castle on the hills within a moat, for the king and queen. I will go in and fetch the princess, said the fox. And he went up and whacked loudly at the door. Whack, 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 whack. And they called out, Who's there? Oh, it is I, said the fox. I have come to dance with you. Oh, come inside, said the trolls, all excited. And the fox went inside. And there was Princess Sunset, as pretty as her sister. Only her hair was dark, and her eyes shone like two stars. And her cheeks were bright red instead of rosy. Well, you may dance with her first if you like, said the trolls, who are really very good natured. And so the fox put his paws out for the princess. She took his paw and he put his other paw around her waist and they began dancing. And around and around they whirled and twirled. And whenever they came near a candle, the fox blew it out. Until at last, the trolls could not see. It was so dark. And out of the door, the fox and the princess whirled and twirled onto Lars. 
take the princess home quickly, said the fox to Lars. And Lars took the princess's son, set onto his horse, and off they went home to the palace of the sun, just in time for sunset. The princess sunrise gave Lars her golden hen, just as she promised, and Lars carried the hen to the king. Afterwards, Lars returned to the palace of the Sun Sisters, and there he lived all his days, helping Princess Sunrise to make the new days, and helping Sister Sunset say goodbye to them. In soft morning light, the stars fade away, the birds soon away, this is a new day, away. Away, shine like the sun, give light and love to every one. Down is the earth, up is the sky. Here are my friends, and here am I. Good morning to you, and good morning to me. Good morning to you, and good morning to me. Fires bright, burning bright, thank you for your golden light. May the sun shine upon you. May love surround you. May the light within you guide you through your day. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.